Well, I'd like to thank the viewers and listeners again for tuning in to another one of the podcast interviews. Uh, this time I'm with Jack Kessel. So how are you doing, Jack? Yeah, good, thanks, Craig. Thanks for having me on. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, do you want to start by sort of telling the viewers a little bit about yourself, where you started yeah. musically? Yeah, uh, so I'm 26. I live in Portreef in Cornwall. And uh, I, sort of, I started music quite late, to be fair, compared to a lot of a lot of artists I you know. I started probably playing, sort of messing around around 18, 19. And sort of for years, I just sort of played in my bedroom and stuff. And then right. I must have been about early 20s. I started going to jam nights with my dad. And it sort of just progressed from there. People said you should start doing it, like going out and gigging. And then started gigging, doing cover stuff, got in a band, some more cover stuff. And only really started pursuing original stuff this year. I've, I've been writing for few years now but I never really like pushed it with any intent until sort of the beginning of this year right so yeah do you so you come from a musical family then you said your dad's you know playing oh yeah dad dad and brother are both drummers and my dad's brothers my uncle's side are all quite traditional folky sort of into that sort of stuff yeah on dad's side there's quite a bit of music in it but well I was never really pushed to play music as a right through it but yeah, there's, there's a lot of love for music in that, in that side of the family. And brothers, my brother's a really good drummer. He went to Bristol Institute of Modern Music to study drumming. So he's, he's quite a talented and successful drummer. So, yeah, there's that. Excellent, excellent. So how have you found the, uh, the lockdown malarkey then? Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's been too difficult. It's, it's been more of a, like a pain than anything. It's just... Getting all, not to sound like, but it's just getting a bit boring at this point. I just, I miss going out. It's just a bit, a bit monotonous, the same thing over and over again. Yeah. It, I, I could be in a lot of a worse position than I am, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. But at the same time, it would be nice to get out gigging and being friends and doing more exciting things again. Right, right. Have you found that it's um, sort of spurred you to write more music, having time, or...? Um... I, I, I wouldn't say I've, I've got any better or worse. I sort of, music writing sort of comes and goes for me. I write most nights, but it's just like playing around on the guitar, coming up with a few lyric ideas. Like mm-hmm. occasionally something will spark and I'll be able to write a song, but I wouldn't say that's been helped or, or hindered by the, by the lockdown at all. Okay. The, the main thing is, I mean, it almost started, there was a there was a, a lot of inspiration for writing about the lockdown, although I was quite, I didn't really want to write a load of songs about being stuck in my house all the time, but it was hard not to write a few of those. But now it's just getting to a point where I'm sort of missing some, missing going out and experiencing new things, which would then become inspiration for, for new songs. It's right. same place all the time doing the same thing. It's hard not to write the same song over and over again in different yeah. ways. Yeah, it's, I wouldn't say it's been good or bad for my music, to be fair. Okay, brilliant. Um, I noticed there's a, a new single that came out recently, wasn't there? Uh, called the journey. Yeah, yeah, the journey. Yeah, yeah, that's that came out on Friday. Do you want to sort of tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I, I managed to. I got in the studio, sort of. It was right at the end of the first lockdown. Like when, when must that have been? I don't know. I got five songs recorded because I thought I'll, I'll get a bulk of songs recorded just in case things go back to the way they were so then I've at least got them got them in my back pocket to release and uh luckily luckily enough for those ones my brother was down because he was living in Bristol at the time and he'd come down just before the lockdown so he got stuck in Cornwall so it's good to be able to get him in and drum on the tracks and it's sort of having him there made me I'm, I'm more of a folk artist really but with that song it had it did have a bit more energy and getting like a proper drummer in just to sort of like get on it really wow. changed the song a bit it made it a bit more electric guitar led and a bit bit rockier than what i what i usually do but i do like, i like the way it's turned out that's yeah it's, it's a bit different to my other stuff but I, I do quite like having a variety of sounds rather than sticking to to one sort of genre brilliant that was yeah that was the idea with that one right so what's your sort of um musical writing process then how you know is it easy for you or is it a struggle or uh it's 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 becoming easier I think but then there are times where you find yourself in a rut and you you can't think of the next line or what chords to play but yeah, at the beginning I, I never thought I would be able to write my own music because I, 
I found it such a difficult process to get in the mindset to be creative. But it's like anything, I think, the more you do it, the, the better you become at it, or at least the easier you find your own voice. But yeah, it, it tends to always start with the guitar for me. I, I've, I've got lots of riffs and patterns that I've just played over the years. I tend to just record them on my phone, and every now and again I'll sort of play them and see if something can come out word. I'm not, I'm not a big writer of words. I don't, I'm not like a, a Dylan or a, like where I'll, I'll have my poetry written and then put music to it. I'm more of a, it comes quite sporadically, the words, and then I'll sort of find a melody and sort of try and fit words that work for, for the song. I'm, I'm, oh. I'm, you did a, yeah. didn't you do a cover of, uh, was it Times They Were Changing? Dylan? Yeah, yeah, Times, I did that in a couple weeks ago now, but yeah, yeah, I'm a huge Dylan fan. I just, I can't and how to write the way he does. I wish I could, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's sort of that's the sort of music I start. I grew up playing and listening to is Dylan, Paul Simon, James Taylor. The sort of the more classic contemporary sort of. Right. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily my sound, but that's I would I'd love to have that sound. But I don't think that's necessarily my sound. Okay, so um, where you know where can people get hold of your music if they they want to buy it? Oh, uh, it's, it's on all the, the major streaming platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Deezer. I, I got all the names of them when I when I upload them, but I, I don't use half of these or know even what half of them are. I just know them by the name. So if you use like Deezer or whatever the other ones are, Apple Music, the, the main ones, they're all on those as well, but right. the little ones as well. And they just search, search Jack Kessel. Yeah, Jack Kessel. I, I believe I'm the only Jack Kessel on Spotify, which is lucky. So it's nice. Yes. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I think so, but yeah. So, um, what are your future future plans? You know, we're coming out of lockdown. Hopefully, it'll be a, you know, live music may yeah. start to reappear. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, f between the the lockdown, the two recent lockdowns, I managed to get a few little like pub gigs outdoors and a few sort of uh, like a uh, what do you call it, uh, socially distanced ones indoors, but. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to get back out and play. I haven't really had a chance to sort of play as an original artist because I, was, I started releasing original music in like, I think it was February, end of February my first one came out. And I, I, I would sprinkle them in my sets, but I didn't, the songs weren't fully formed in a way. So it'd be nice to get out and actually play as an original artist that throws a few covers in as opposed to a covers artist that throws a few originals in. So mm. that would get around and do that, hoping we were able to. Okay, and maybe an EP, maybe, or something like that? Yeah, I, I, yeah so I've got seven songs now. I've got a couple of singles to come out. I'm, I'm, I'm racing them as singles at the moment because it just it means I've got a steady flow of content and I don't have to worry about putting an EP out and then having to wait a year before I, yeah. I start coming up with new ideas. But down the line, I've, an EP or an album are definitely something that I would love to do. I, I love albums and EPs. I like, like a solid piece of work which which seems like one piece of work as right. opposed to singles but yeah down the line that would be nice to do it'd be nice to get in the studio or write a really like a proper long piece of work yes yeah so is there any um any local artists you're listening to at the moment oh local hmm I'm trying to think it's a it is a it is a funny one because like yeah you know you you probably, if you're scanning on things like YouTube and stuff, there's so much out there, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know if you agree with me about Cornwall, but Cornwall is absolutely, you know, full of talented musicians and artists. It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit guilty of not being that relevant with it. even pop music now. I, I, take, if I'm listening to something in the car, it tends to be an old '60s album or a '70s album. I, I, I very, yeah. I very rarely listen to some modern music, which I think I, I could probably start doing that and getting a bit more like a fresher sound because a lot of my sounds do tend to lean towards that, the older style of writing. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I, should, I should start investigating more modern music, but local, local it's, it's, it's a hard one. I can't, I can't yeah. off the top of my head, think of a local artist. That no, I fair play, fair play. I mean, it, it is true. I mean, you know, without sounding sort of flippant but i modern you know modern as in sort of radio one type stuff yeah. um i haven't really listened to for a long time because it, it you know it became all the same 
for me personally yeah. anyway and you know i'm a big fan of the all the old stuff um i love it uh, you know you, you know, neil young and bob dylan oh, yeah. and all that sort of stuff um but you know since i've been doing this for the last couple of years um the the the, the talent of, of musicians down here you know just blows me away sometimes so, mm. It's yeah, it's, 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 it's a shame sometimes that the, the scene probably isn't at the same heights as the, the talent. There's not really a, a music scene in the sense that you get in sort of London or Bristol or Brighton, no. some of the bigger places. We really have that down here, but we've got the talent, certainly, I, I think. And I think what sort of happens is we've got the holiday seasons and, like, mm. you know, the bands are hitting the pubs, um, you know, uh, during holiday seasons. And it's almost, you know... There's, there's that's the level that hits and yeah, you, yeah, you can't yeah. really jump higher well, you can jump higher but it takes a lot you know mm, yeah 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 it, it, uh, I, mean, it does, I think it would traveling out of the county is probably the, the the best way for a musician to to progress from cornwall i think but yeah, it is, we, we seem to have more of a covers sort of scene down here than we've got an original scene in the areas that i play in sort of like the red roof camborne it, it does tend to lean more towards they like cover music. I mean, yeah. I, I should I should probably start pushing out to sort of the more hammer uh, for new peeps and Ives. Then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think that I mean, you know, there are there are a lot of bands doing original stuff down here. Um, yeah, and like yeah. you say, because because like if they 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 go into a venue, a pub, or what have you, nine times out of ten. The person who owns the venue you know they want cover bands because you know it's the uppy stuff and they know yeah, people, yeah, yeah. you know but throwing yeah, the odd be. one in the odd original in and stuff does work you know oh um, yeah yeah so yeah yeah that's yeah that's sort of what i've been doing for the past couple of years now as a yeah. solo um cover artist playing sort of and so like throwing a few ones in but it is yeah it is it's always tough when you when you play an original one right after you play this incredible song that you grew up listening to, which yeah. in, in your mind is this amazing song. It's, it it, make, it forces you to sort of compare them in a way. But right. yeah. All right, Jack, we're sort of coming up towards the end of the interview. And I always ask yeah. the question, um, you know, is there anybody you want to thank for you being here musically now? Um, certainly my dad. My dad had definitely for like pushed me to... I think yeah, when I sort of, the, I think we were doing karaoke was when I sort of realised I could sing. And then I just, I, I hated the idea of just being a singer. So I, I, I ended up picking up the guitar and playing it. I, I think I would have ended up just playing in my room, singing myself if he didn't sort of force me to come with him to jam nights. And, and obviously he's a big part of the reason I love Dylan and love sort of old folk music. So yeah, him and there are, there's lots of people that I, I thank, but probably mainly my dad. Fantastic, mate. Brilliant. Um, yeah, so two tracks that you've got on uh, YouTube that I can tag on to, to this interview. What would they be? Uh, on YouTube, though, there's, there should be a website. I should have a few on a, a website called Indie Vibes. They should have... I don't upload on YouTube personally, but they should, okay. be, they should be able to find my songs on, on it. Uh, so well, what no, what I normally do is um, I normally th this will go into the interview section, and then I've got. Well, you 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 tag in the description the song for you. You're, you're, uh, you know. Yeah, and what I'll do is then uh, there's a section saying songs from the interview. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally, uh, I'll I'll pick videos off YouTube and put them up against it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand what you mean. So, yeah, have you got anything on YouTube at all, or no? Uh, well, the ones of me on YouTube would be I, I've got um, a song called Amsterdam on YouTube, which is yeah, I know Amsterdam. Yeah, I played that a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I got my first play from you. It was and oh, uh, nice. uh, Sunset is another one that was yeah a couple couple months ago now. But yeah, yeah, yeah. The, a bit different. Yeah, lovely. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do that. I'll tag them onto the, you know, into the music from the interview section. Um, yeah, look, Jack, thanks for giving me the time for the interview. Fantastic. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you for interviewing. It was nice to and do it. We spoke about doing it pre pre lockdown one, I think. It yeah, like yeah. It's, it's been quite a challenge for, you know, some people because it's, it's all about time, even though you'd imagine yeah. in a lockdown you've got lots of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still haven't, you know. So, no, um, yeah, there's always something to do. 
Yeah, well, look, thanks very much. And whenever you get uh, down this way, because I'm down in Penzance, so if you're ever down this way or whatever you play in, give me a shout. Yeah, I don't have to sound awesome. I will do. Brilliant. Right. Thanks very much, mate. You take care. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Cheers, thank you.